We're talking under cabinet lights today on Jill of All Trades. This set I put in years ago and this one has been a problem from the get-go. It just won't stay on and there are options that are so much better now. Uh, more energy efficient and easy to put in. So let's start by moving the stuff on the counter so we have room to work. And I'm going to pull down the old set. All right, there we go. Old lights are down. Pretty happy about that. The new set is much more streamlined. These are LEDs, and I have a 16-foot strip of them. I'm not going to come close to using all of that. But quickly, I'll plug them in and show you. They're very bright, although these are dimmable. So that's one of the things I liked about them. And they come with this great little remote. I love a remote. These stick on uh, just with adhesive on the back. Now, they've gotten a lot better than they used to be because it used to be you couldn't turn corners with them. So that uh, gave you some restrictions. But now they have these neat little connectors that you can turn any angle of corner. So what I want to do is do three strips under here because this is task lighting. So let's start by measuring out how far we need to go. And I can pretty much go the entire length. The only limitation on this set is if I'm going to connect them with these corner connectors, I have to make my cuts where we have these little copper strips. If you look closely, there's a line right across the center. That's my cut point. That's how easy it is. Strip number one, done. Now I'm going to do three rows. So I'm going to match my other strips to the length of this. Now it's time to connect the pieces. So we have these little connectors. You just open up this little flap and we can slide the copper ends right in there. We need to get them underneath those little metal conductors there. A little bit of wiggling, we'll get that in. There we go, beautiful. And once we make contact, just snap it closed. And we'll do that to connect all of our pieces. Now, once we have these all put together, we're ready to hang them. They hang with an adhesive strip on the back. All right, backing's off. Uh, cabinet is cleaned underneath. We're ready to hang. I'm going to start with the end with the plug closest to where my plug is accessible. And I'm just going to stick them on. I mean, these are really easy to work with. All right, let's see if they work. Ta-da! Looking pretty good. Love it. Okay, we still have a little bit of housekeeping to do. We've got to, so we've got to unplug to do that. We've got these wires hanging down and we've got little sticky clips. So we're going to put those on the wire and stick that up under the cabinet so those aren't hanging down. And then we've got to figure out what to do with the box. So I'm going to just put some sticky Velcro on there and stick it up under the cabinet and then I'm gonna to have to put the wires up there too. All right, everything's working. Obviously, I still have to deal with this wire. For now, I'm going to bundle this up and just stick it up under here. But if you're handy, um, and this is what I'm gonna do later, you can unplug all of this and you'll be able to shorten that wire that goes into that box. Same with this one. But for the moment, we'll just tie them up underneath here. All right, we are done. Lights are up. They work by remote. You can dim them. How cool is that? Love it. Under cabinet lights for you. There you have it. On Jill of all trades.